So let's take our seal out of the box. Uh, this is this is actually a brand new seal that I took from stock just for uh, um, just for uh, an example. Um, rarely do they come back this clean or nice. Now again, the wrong thing to do is immediately start taking this seal apart. We're nowhere near that yet. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that can be gained, especially if the customer has verified that this seal has been taken right from service and hasn't been decon decontaminated at all. That's an ideal situation because you get to see what did the seal look like uh, right when it was removed from, from service. And a lot of times, you know, if, you, if, if this is a seal that leaked a lot in service, there might be some staining that, that follows lines of gravity and you can tell uh, which way the seal was installed. Um, that's usually the first thing I try and verify because, uh, for example, on this seal there's a vent and that vent should be at top dead center. Well, if a lot of the leakage is flowing this way, I know, for example, there's a really good chance that the seal was installed upside down. <clears throat> for seals that go on between bearings pumps, they might be rotation specific. Uh, in, in that case, um, you want to know, first of all, is it the clockwise or counterclockwise seal that I'm dealing with? Um, do all the parts match up? Uh, usually what I do as a matter of course is uh, whatever information is written on the flange. Uh, for, exist, for this example, 0038 Bergman, Cartex ABDN, 1.750 inch. I usually, I usually record all that information. Uh, just as a just as a practice. The other thing, uh, you know, before you start to disassemble the seal, uh, if the seal is marked with an ident number um, or a drawing number, now is a good time to verify that you do in fact have the right drawing of that. Uh, where a lot of people get a bit off track is if this seal, I mean, this may have come from service and may have been installed five years ago. There's a good chance that it's not the same most current revision. So now's the time you may want to go back and say, well, I actually need an older revision uh, so I know what this seal looks like. A few other things you want to do before you start disassembling the seal. One thing I do where the seal is bolted up, I like to look for witness marks of that bolting. I can kind of, usually I can tell if maybe they used washers, maybe they used um, uh, cap screws, maybe they use studs and nuts, uh, you know, is it even? Uh, for a seal like a Cartex where it's, it's just a flat gasket, you don't need a whole lot of compression. What you want to look for is really deep grooves where somebody really torqued down the bolts. Okay, that, that's something you definitely want to uh, uh, record and maybe even uh, uh, take some photos of because that's a training opportunity for the customer and it may in fact be relative to uh, the failure itself. Uh, unfortunately, in the service center, we still receive a lot of seals that don't have their setting plates back in them. That's unfortunate, but again, that's also a training opportunity to tell your customers, you really should always put the setting tabs or, or assembly fixtures back on the seal before you remove it from the pump. Because a lot of times these guys say, hey, you know, this seal's failed. I'm not going to hurt it. I'm going to get a pry bar or, uh, or even a claw hammer or something and just rip that seal off of there. They may do a lot of damage to the seal that you may misdiagnose later. Uh, I, I, I see that a lot. So if the, if the setting tabs or assembly plates are not included with the seal, you need to document that because the customer needs to know that's not a very good practice. Uh, you need to keep those setting tabs, um, put them back in before you remove the seal and ship the seal with the setting tabs in. Uh, the other thing I look for before I ever disassemble anything is uh, uh, does it appear that the, the seal was assembled properly in the first place? Uh, and a lot of times what you'll find is um, uh, seals can be assembled a variety of different ways. Not all of our designs are foolproof. Some can be in, uh, you might have some components that are uh, upside down or backwards. Uh, when you have some of the more complicated drive, drive uh, drivers, you might have cone point screws, cut point screws, different screws for the setting plates. Sometimes those might all be um, in the wrong position. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, again, is document 
how was the seal received? Okay, and spend some time, just slow down when you're doing this. Just slow down. We're going to get to all the good stuff, um, you know, deep into the investigation. What this, what this training module is for is how you approach a seal and tear it 